When you think about it, Harvey Weinstein and college sports, particularly college basketball, have a lot in common. Weinstein's production company partnered with television networks which have news departments that are supposed to investigate whispers of bad behavior and impropriety. But Weinstein made the networks a lot of money, so the whispers continued unchecked as money mattered. Television news departments ignore important stories that threaten the money pipeline. The same can be said about the college basketball industry. There should be a cloud hanging over the 2017-2018 college basketball season with the arrests of people and an ongoing federal investigation into the legitimacy of the business and perhaps where the college basketball is a bona fide competition. The college sports industry has deals with CBS, NBC, Fox, and Disney, ABC, ESPN, as well as the entity that is presently owned by Time Warner that will soon be the property of AT&T, Turner Sports. Those five companies happen to control most of the flow of national news on TV. It's unlikely that any of them want to upset their college sports partner because there's too much money involved to report on how children are identified as top-flight basketball players as preteens and shoved into a sneaker program at some major basketball camp and become the property of the sneaker company. Those children, by the time they are 17, are pushed into the sneaker company's college basketball partner. It's been going on for years. Anyone around the college basketball industry can tell you about the practice. The people who run the National Collegiate Athletic Association have some knowledge of what is going on and look the other way. The big-time college coaches from Joe Paterno to Rick Pitino are exalted because they win and bring money into a program. Money talks. I'm Evan Weaver for the politics of sports business.